In the 1940s, Lash LaRue, the daring movie cowboy with his sharp cracking bullwhip, was a matinee idol and celebrity sensation across the country. But just as he left a trail of busted bad guys in his movies, the real life LaRue reportedly left a trail of broken hearted young women when he toured the nation in person with his Wild West show. One of those women lived in Belton, where she met LaRue when he was a star performing as part of his show. She had just completed her service in the U.S. Army and returned to Belton after the death of her grandmother, her last living relative. She met LaRue at the old Belton Opera House, which still stands downtown. It is a building some say is still haunted by her ghost. After meeting the star and spending time with him, LaRue promised to send for her when he returned to Hollywood. He even sent telegrams to her daily for a while, reminding her of his promise. But the telegram stopped, and the young woman, who some said was rumored to be pregnant, was beyond consolation. So she made her way to the top of the opera house on a late, foggy evening just after midnight, clutching the last telegram LaRue had sent before plunging to her death. In the years since, some claim to have seen her apparition in the shadows of the roof of that building. Others claim to have heard her climbing the stairs of the upper floors, or the soft sobs near the edge of the roof where decades ago she dropped to her death. But there is one odd footnote. Many residents in the area were convinced that rumors the young woman had served as a spy during the war were true. The fact that she had no friends, no job, and refused to talk about her military service only fanned those flames. Even her grandmother had been secretive. The pastor and the three kind souls who attended her funeral also noticed three men, all strangers, standing next to a dark green Buick near the road during the service. One of them was taking photographs. No one knew who they were, and no one ever saw them again. Whether the woman was a heartbroken, starstruck girl who killed herself over a lost love, or a spy who could no longer keep her secrets, is something we'll never know. But if you are in downtown Belton, after midnight, and the moon is hidden and the fog rolling in, you just might notice something moving in the shadows on that roof or hear the quiet sounds of sobbing in the still night air.